Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and for today I'm going to bring you the latest news brought to you by Preferred Currency News or PCN.today okay so without further ado let's proceed to the topic so a seven-year legal fight led this dub or did this developer to build an unstoppable ethereum storage okay so if you build it strong enough the low will follow okay so that's how Daniel Nagy, the leading developer behind Swarm, Ethereum's decentralized storage layer, described his takeaway lesson after a seven-year legal battle over the hosting a file sharing node. A precursor to peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service BitTorrent, Nagy was running a DC node, a technology that is now perfectly and completely obsolete, according to the developer. I had a bit of a legal fight over it and I won, he told Coindesk. In the aftermath of that fight, Nagy, who founded of the, Hung founded of the Hungarian branch of the Electronic Frontier Foundation, joined the Ethereum Foundation, where he was inspired to look deeper into censorship-resistant technology. In particular, Nagy's experience in the courts initiated his work on Swarm, a hotly anticipated storage layer for Ethereum where he focuses on the systems, architecture, and privacy-preserving cryptography. When the swarm, Nagy is fixated on how to make the centralized storage robust enough that legal repercussions of this kind can't happen in what he describes as an arms race between developers and regulators. Okay? Um, this is an arms race. And since we can develop stuff and the marginal cost of replication is zero, we will win this arms race and I think everybody knows that, he told Coindesk. An Ethereum initiative that has been active since the early days of the platform, Swarm seeks to provide a mechanism for the blockchain to offload some of its historical data as well as handle file storage more broadly, with an emphasis on efficiency, speed, confidentiality and security the, the centralized storage layer is built with the aim of rendering the cost of attack so inefficient that the legal system is forced to update itself in response okay, according to Nagy that's because a fully robust network can actually inform decision making even to the point of how law is interpreted by judges and enforcers he told Coindesk they don't want to enforce unenforceable laws, so unstoppable storage. So intended to provide a base infrastructure for a decentralized internet swarm splits information up between the computers of different network participants. To protect this layer from censorship, what Nagi defines as taking information out of circulation, decentralization and privacy are vital. For example, what developers call redundancy is key to how Swarm protects against censorship. This refers to duplication, I mean to the duplication of critical system components of a system, creating in effect a swarm of machines. If you have multiple channels of communication, multiple locations of storage, more expensive because uh, the censoring becomes more expensive rather, because you need to find all of them and shut down all all of them okay he told coindesk while it's possible to store information in a transparent way on swarm much of nagy's work has focused on how to ensure sensitive information remains private even when stored on someone else computer to do this swarm uses what it what is called counter mode encryption if there's a dispute the protocol shares a small piece of encrypted data that can verify ownership without revealing any other information. In order to access the stored information remotely, Swarm uses public and private keys, private key pairs. So, as such, participants will host encrypted data chunks on the laptops, and in most jurisdictions, can do so with a degree of plausible deniability. Also, meaning that 
because swarm nodes don't hold keys to unlock data they won't be able they won't, they won't be at risk and of legal trouble according to nagi that's important because attack resistant storage is essential to healthy societies so storage is the shared experience of humanity he told coindesk adding the difference between hunter gatherers and us is exclusively the amount of stored information that we have access to there is no other difference between us okay so let's really read the whole story mm -hmm. so future directives so the storage protocol is currently in public alpha meaning that that while still under heavy deployment or development but today anyone can run a swarm node going forward the protocol will also offer incentives in the form of either ethereum's native cryptocurrency for participants in the swarm network this aspect is still being fine-tuned additionally according to nagi Swarm encryption has been designed to be as smart contract friendly as possible in order to ensure that DAP developers can seamlessly integrate the technology. That's because while primarily intended to store smart contract information and other blockchain data in a decentralized way, Swarm has other more far reaching use cases on the horizon. For example, the project has secured a number of partnerships over the past year including video streaming startup LivePeer and DataFund, a privacy-centric data management protocol. Nagi is also using Swarm to build a censorship-resistant social media platform called BeFree, working with fellow Ethereum Foundation developer Dimitri Kovglov. Their goal is to use the technology in a bid to create an alternative to platforms with heavier forms of censorship. We have access to a kind of shared pool of knowledge that humanity has accumulated. And if that is being censored, that makes us much, 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 much dumber as a society, Nagi said. Okay, so that is um, my headlines for today. Right, guys? So, Swarm. So, the name of this um, unstoppable Ethereum storage is Swarm, right? So another um, topic that I'm going to mention is that this one. So this is preferred currency not news. So this is linked to the CN today. So in here you will be notified of the latest updates as you will receive a daily newsletter. Um, along with it um, are some news and some tips. Okay, so this is it. Uh, these are the main headlines or the main news, right? So there are different links and so different tools here like this one so this one is where you can act, uh, monitor your EOS transactions on your account this one is a marketplace links and also a PCN dot today okay so the important part of this newsletter is this one so this one is the research list of Don the Guru so the top coins for today um, according to Don the Guru is dash centraland doc Wax, Zcash, Bitcoin, EOS, Tellertron, and ZRX. So you can open the spreadsheet. Uh, this is the full list of Don the Guru's research list. So as you can see, this is very, very informative. So the blue ones that are showing the best news. And the information on the right are mostly um, technical analysis. And if you still don't understand technical analysis, you can contact Don the Guru once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news and he will teach you on how to understand each one of this. Okay, so subscribe now. This is only for $15 a month or $180 a year for, um, for this newsletter. As you see, there's a lot of information here, a lot of links here. So this is very, very useful. Right, so here's the link. Okay. Right, so... If I were you, I would subscribe at preferred currency because I find this very, very interesting. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. Um, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor, and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay, so guys, keep note of this preferred currency news newsletter. So, okay, so 
this has been Vic once again. Um, bye bye. Thank you.